Let's talk about working with indexes in our Prisma schemas to create indexes in our database. We've got a very simple table here, the user table, but we've got a ton of records. We've got 5 million records, and this is creating some slowness in our queries. If we do a lookup where the user's last name is like Fay, F-A-Y, we're getting query times like 223 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds, and this could be much improved with an index. Right now we're doing a sequential scan on the user table, so we're looking at every record to go and get the results and return them. Just like an index in a book is useful for pointing us exactly where to look in the book for the topic we're interested in, let's do the same thing here in our database and create an index on our user table. We'll use the double at syntax, double at index, and we'll give it last name as the index we want. Save that and run a migration. We'll say add last name index for the name. After the migration runs, we should see that index live. If we're in the user table and we check out the structure, what we're going to see now is the last name index existing as a B tree, that's the default in Postgres, and it targets the last name column. Looking back at the query we just made, let's run it again. If we do, we've got 23 milliseconds this time, 30 milliseconds. So we're approaching a 10x improvement in our query times. Adding indexes to our tables for our common query patterns is usually the best first line of defense that we can go for. You can also check out the Prisma data platform for more ways to improve your query speed. Prisma Postgres will give you an instant Postgres database. Prisma Accelerate is going to speed up your queries via caching. And Prisma Optimize is going to give you analysis of the queries that you're making to see where things can be improved.